Here we are. Here's the back door. Put some reinforcements and whatnot. Look at that. Well, this is about as big as a peak as you all gonna get and such, because this is bed for Mills. What's he doing in there? My name is Yancey. I am joined by my partner and such, Medford Mel. We are in his cabin, the Mitchell cabin. Uh, it is on an adjunct area of my property, Yancey land. And we are here to tell the dramatic story from last September. I'm going to do this properly. Uh, and give it the, the story, the honor it deserves. Who was him? Okay, well, we're going to talk about that later. Right? I have to say, well, that's why I want to investigate. Yeah, this other trophy here. I want to find out exactly who this is. This other trophy here. Yeah, you verify this. It says Bathing Beauty Contest King 1972. Yeah. I won this trophy. This is mine. I won it. I was in the newspaper. And that's all I'm going to say. So it's an iconic event. So Yancey won a bathing beauty contest king. Verify that for me, please. Epic. 72. Huge. And I won this. That's all I'm going to say. Maybe somebody will figure it out. If they figure it out, they get a special Yancey uh, prize package of assorted whatnots. Yep. Okay. Okay. So, so this environment, it's, it's so stoic. If yep. you will, it's so, uh, so iconic. Iconic, if you will. I like that. If anything, let's, let's, can, can I get a little? Can I get a little something off my chest? Uh, please. Well, please. you know, in pop culture these days, and there's so many. I just want to uh, take the task a few, a uh, few uh, uh, cliches that are just overused. Iconic is one of them. It's everything, if something, if, it, if something's been heard of by more than three people, it's iconic, or, or it's epic, or it's huge. So it's like, everything's like, or, or, or it's across the board, you know, it's like stuff like that. It just kind of bugs me. Well, it, 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 it takes away the power of the word. Yeah, exactly. It takes away the power of the word. It deflates it, it diminishes it, but, you know, it's the way things go. It, 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 Especially it, in this world of Cyberness. Well, this is totally different from the Sasquatch thing, right? Uh, very much so. Very okay. much so. Uh, the Sasquatch is a whole separate thing. I I know where, I know where he is. I, can I talk about it? Uh, sure. Or, or would I be diverging? Uh, we we take a little time to. Because Sasquatch is so iconic. Take that off. 
It's really interesting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, bam. Yep. Uh, off to the left. Just past over that one tree in the trees, right? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. And uh, the brain is ignorant of this, but, you know. But look. <laughs> I, I, okay. I'm not going to. I'm not going to uh, go there. One iron. Think Lee Trevino. That, that's a little piece of something here. A little memorabilia Mel's got in his cabin. Look at this. It's a Ben Hogan cup. He did, he's got so much stuff in here, he doesn't remember what he's got. Yeah, this well, this is a Colonial Country Club official head cover for a one iron made by the Ben Hogan Company. Real deal, people. Real deal. Anyway, so, uh, as usual, we have diverged from the topicals. You're going to have to buck me up to taste Sorry, it. Sorry, that's pretty much my fault. Uh, it's okay. Well, it was your fault. It wasn't my fault. It was you and your damn coach. That's right. That's right. That's right. I feel much better now. I'm loose as a goose and uh, ready, ready, to, ready to... No, we've got a couple cats up here and such. Sorry. They're nice little critters. They're lovely little critters. I like cats and whatnot. I'm a um, cat person myself. Um, so, anyway, the eggs. Yeah, so what we have here is we're going to try to convey the experience uh, through film and imagery, uh, share some of the banter, some of the cohesiveness of this group that, uh, of egg explorers. Um, some of the tension they felt, uh, the anxiety, the, the, the excitement. Uh, every, the, they don't run, run the gamut of emotions on this thing. I'm, I, I, I cannot stress that enough. Uh, they, they run the gamut of emotions on this. Uh, what about the agronomics? <laughs> I have no idea what that means. Agronomics. A E G G R O N O N I C S. Agronomics. You're using the Eggs pun thing, so I thought I'd try it. Anyway, go on. I want to get some of Um, so what do you need from me? Any, well, any, how can I help? Well. We shouldn't try doing a movie while we're eating peanuts. I mean, we got to be more professional than this. I told him we were going to make a network-ready documentary here, so we got to quit eating these peanuts. It makes our voice sound crazy. Okay. All stoic and, and, and oh, okay. you know, uh, dramatic. Uh, I, I made these promises. We, we're in, I don't know if we're pulling it off or not, but this is stoic. There, there you go. There you go. That's, that's your skull. It's kind of hard to talk about. And I don't know about, about the sanitation down here, so I, I'm going to... It's kind of hard to be stoic when you talk I, I got to use a little bit of sanitizer up here there. Hey. Feel a little bit better. Don't watch. Come on now. You think a darn Rolex of diamonds would stay on your arm, you know? But this class here. So, anyway, what do you want? Uh, can... What do you want for twelve hundred dollars? <laughs>
found this egg. We are on number 11, people. And the egg was found on the 17th hole by, I guess, stay with me, G-Dog A. I like G-Dog A. We've never met the cat. Uh, he's a, he's a, uh, he's a deep thinker, I can tell. I can tell. So, let's take a look at his picture. G-Dog 8 found the egg on 17, as the 11th egg hole found. Let's take a peek. Number 12 was found, the egg was found on hole number 15, by Corwin, C-O-R-W-Y-N, another fine, outstanding WGT player. Does he? Yeah, he's a, uh, he, he's a fairly quiet man, but when, when, when something needs to be spoken about, he speaks about it, and, and he's a fair man, and, and uh, I'd be proud to roll with him anytime, anywhere. The fellow's got to speak his mind. Yes. So, that was number 12. He found the egg on hole uh, 15, Corwin. Now, take a look at that picture. Yep, yep, yep. Bring it up. Yep. Okay. Number 13, one three, people, was the egg was found on hole 11 by Top Shelf 2010. Mm -hmm. the very active paranormal WGT enthusiast. Oh, yeah, 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 Topper. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Uh, yeah. He is uh, yeah, no, he's an honorary. He's, he's one of us. Yes, if you will. He, he, Two stories all the way down the line. Yes. Across the board. I know that when the when the when the final battle between the hobgoblins, the aliens, and the humans goes down, he will be there. Well, our foxhole. Yeah, he will be there. And uh, I, I will be proud to have him help us win our planet and our courses back. Yeah. The aliens are currently colonizing our planet via our golf courses. I'm getting off topic, I'm sorry. So, once again, that was number 13, Top Shelf 2010. You're the man there, buddy. Number 11. Let's take a look at this picture. Bring it up. People remember on number 14, the egg was found on hole number 16 by G Dog 8. Yes, that would be the G Dog 8 from number 11. So three of them? Uh, no, that makes two. No, three of them found two. Four of them found two. Oh. We, yeah, we got Yash, Scott Hope, uh, TLC 1961, oh. and G Dog 8. Oh, okay. Stay with me now. Nothing wrong with a little water. Liquefy. Nothing wrong with a little water. Liquefy. Proceed. A little bit of a sanitizer spray down here in Mitchell Cabin, you know. I'm not saying anything, I'm just saying, you know what I mean. Uncle Murphy. The watch is just. I should have got the insurance. I knew that. Okay. 15 Big Fitty. Ah. Whew. Mama, Mau, Kitty Mama. I knew the girl. I don't want to know if cat's learning in here. She's fine. Okay, now. So, we are on 15. And somebody who's been, had been looking since day one finally scored. Who? Steve P. Sheehan. He found uh, the egg from number 18 as the 15th find. And I'm not going to bring up his picture yet. And I'll tell you why. I'm going to move on to 16. 16, 16th egg found was on hole number 13 by Steve P. Sheehan. And I'm not going to show the pictures yet either. You know what? I'm confused. You know what? I'm confused. I'm going to move on to 17. I'm still confused. Well, stay with me now. 
You know, if you stay with me, you're going to be all right. Because when you don't stay with me, things get worse. When have I ever not been with you? So, moving on to 17. The egg was found on hole 14. Who do you think found it? I mean, you're going to put me to sleep. It's stupid. Being stupefied here. Steve P. Sheehan. I can't figure this three out. Three in a row. I am mystified. First man with three. Unbelievable. How's he going to do that? That's why I didn't show the picture, so we're going to show them all in a row here. Again, I say wacky. Yes, there's some things here that are unexplainable. Un oh, you know, I'd say so. I, obviously, further analysis is needed, so let's leave it at that. Yeah. So, spiritual powers, the earth's, the earth's core. What are you doing? <sighs> okay. He's still here. Right. I know. Of course he's, he's still here. He's he always got to throw us a sign though, when I least expect it and just, I'm okay though. Okay, so grade number 18. Dang, watch. I mean, you pay for a Rolex, you think it's going to stay on your list. I know, I, I know, I, I hate to go negative, I'm sorry. But. Okay, so, number 18, the final egg. Uh, now, the time in between 17 and 18, almost five days. To close it out. 17 days. 17 days. This wasn't an afternoon of, of goofing off. No. This was a hardcore exploration. 24 hours Men on a task, day. focused, sweating, night tremors, no sleep. Uh, that is epic. Yes, so uh, bear with me. Inconceivable. Because all these other explorers were still out there. They were working cohesively as a team. They were communicating, saying to each other, don't worry about Hole 12, the right side, I've swept it clean, it's not there. It must have been exasperating. Uh, very much so. Uh, and this was not your normal egg vent at all. Okay. This was Okay. This egg vent, from finding egg number one to finding egg number 18, took 17 days. Eight hours and 51 minutes. That's how long these people devoted themselves to this explorable. They, they, 17 days! Exemplary. I think I'm over my uh, little emotional episode there. I apologize. It was not anxiety. It was... I was expressing my... It's been a long journey. Think, it's maybe, been a long journey. You think maybe people are getting kind of tired of the eggs puns by now? Uh, yes. Probably so, but we are on 18, 18. What do you got me doing? <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I know if the hunger sets in. It's, it's just... I just want a beer. It's, it's, I want a beer, that's all. It's just we're coming to the end of a yeah, 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 stocky yeah. drama. Right, and sorry. It, it suddenly, it's hit me how, 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 you know, how sure. much time I have invested. Uh, we've all invested in this. Sometimes, yes, you know, the old ADD kicks in. And, uh, uh, On my part. Uh, we are at 18, and we are going to celebrate... It's smoking. Okay. Ew! That smells like sulfur. That was huge. It was what? Huge. It was... <laughs> Number 18, the final egg.